And here, for instance, we have the quern. As you can see, the flower coming out of it, you drop the grain in the top there and turn it round and it produces flour. And it's quite easy to produce enough flour to make a loaf. It doesn't take all that long. Okay. Um, also in the Iron Age, but also much earlier than the Iron Age, they used a different method of grinding grain. So that is called a rotary quern, for obvious reasons. The top rotates. This is called a saddle quern. And here, all you can do is grind the grain using a stone like this. Very much harder work. But in the fine tradition, um, I can show you something that was done earlier. So grinding grain like that produces flour, which has tiny, tiny bits of stone in it from the grinding process. And um, this isn't just um, prehistoric, but also in the medieval period, um, the teeth of people who ate a lot of this bread, bread worn wore down quite a lot from the stone that's in it. 